Hey guys, I try to do this in a different angle for you guys. Premier League is on again this weekend. Chelsea, it's on the war zone again. Oh, it's gonna be a tough fixture. Beautiful games coming out this weekend. Chelsea will be looking at facing another dirty side Leeds United. And it's not gonna be that easy. Graham Potter is already under pressure. But yes, before we get into the nitty gritty of the preview of uh, this weekend game, Chelsea against Leeds United. You know what guys, don't forget this is, my name is Nate Zion. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And also keep the bell notification icon at all times so you don't miss anything from my platform. But before I get into it, it is a beautiful day, but I'm telling you, it is cold. Freezing cold, but I'm gonna take you guys inside so we can have a, a nice conversation. You know what? Come with me. So, guys, what? Come with me, we're gonna go inside and then we can have a nice discussion. Come along. I'll cut. Welcome back, guys. This is where we, I told you guys, let's get inside and let's have a nice conversation. Uh, but like I said, look. This is another game that there's so much pressure on Graham Potter. Is it the last game for Potter? I don't think it is the last game for Potter. But this game means a lot for Chelsea Football Club and the whole entire uh, um, fans, which I'm part of them. You get what I'm saying? So I'll say this should be either make or breakthrough for Graham Potter. He wins this game. He wins lots of the fans back. Not everyone, but he win, he's going to win lots of the fans back to support him. And I support Graham Potter and I want him to succeed at Chelsea Football Club because I love English football. And I, if Potter goes ahead and win against Leeds, he has to prove himself again and be able to win the subsequent games coming. Well, let's, let's look into those two teams first. Leeds United have been, have been struggling. They are very close to relegation. They're fighting for their life. Chelsea are in the middle of the table, 10th position, but then Chelsea hasn't won games. They've won two games in 15 games played so far in the Premier League. Two games in 15 English Premier League games. That is not a good record for Chelsea Football Club and where they stay at this moment. And we know what is going on in regards to, you know, number of players that has come in. Graham Potter himself hasn't got a tune out of the players. But he has to try and be able to integrate some other players and work with injured players. But it is not that good. It's not going to be that easy for Porter. But then he's not helping himself in terms of uh, the performance. I, no, I know it will come over time. But then the team is not playing very well. I mean, if the team is drawing games and getting one goal after the another game and then they draw, you can argue the fact that, okay, it is a struggling team, they're trying to get teamwork, and it'll take time. But there's nothing to fall on to in terms of giving him, you know, let's say there's hope. There's no, we don't see the hope anywhere. But this is where I'm gonna put this in regards to Leeds United, the preview of the game, what Potter has to do. But what I'm seeing now, Rodrigo, Rodrigo who has been the best player for Leeds United is not going to be in the game this time But there are other stubborn players They, they brought in the likes of uh, Weston McKennie from Juventus And other, you know, stubborn players You get what I'm saying? They still have Patrick Bamford, another Chelsea boy who's now with Leeds United That can also make a difference, you know, Chelsea struggling But in this game, I want Potter to switch the formation Move from the back four and go for a back three formation. And I think that will work for Potter, in my opinion. From what I'm hearing now, Chelsea will go, will probably, gonna end up, I saw his James training today, but from what I read, he has a tight armstring. An armstring is not something that you can play with. If you're not careful, if you don't manage that injury very well, it can end up being a long-term injury. And we don't want to see Rhys James going for a long time. You get what I'm saying? Because we have more games, we got very important games coming up and we want to see Rhys James playing. So Rhys James and Mason Mount, probably these two players will not start the game. But if I want to go with the back three, who will be my right wing player? Is it going to be Hakim, Hakim Ziyech, who's not a good defender? We're going, to see, we're going to get into that formation lineup and see what we're looking at at this moment. So 
We're gonna look at prediction lineup. We're gonna we're gonna look at um, also score lineup and see what we are really dealing with in terms of uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, Chelsea. You know. So just like I said, this is the formation I want to go with, and I'm gonna put it out there. If you're watching, I'm gonna put this formation out there this way. So. Formation wise, I want to go with a back three and a back three starting with uh, Arisa Belaga, Kepa, Kepa in goal pose. So in the right hand side, I want to see Detro for, uh, uh, Fafana, Wesley Fafana at the back. In, in the middle, I want to see uh, Koulibaly in the middle. Then we have Bad Boy Buddy Shelley on the left hand side that makes the back three. Then we're going to talk about Ben Chewa on the left hand side. No Kukurela, guys, no Kukurela. Ben Chua on the left hand side playing the left wing position then Enzo Fernandez with Zakaria in the middle those pivot haven't haven't seen those two playing together and I think that I've, I've seen enough from a, a lot from a Zakaria introduction he came in he performed very very well I want to see the same pair again in that section Zakaria Enzo Fernandez. Then on the right hand side, we can talk about Reese James. Like I said, tight armstring is not anything that we should play with. So who would be the right person to be in that position in terms of defensive, uh, defensive attribute, going up for it and defending very well? I'm not so sure if Kai Havertz would be the guy, but I'm very sure. No, I'm not so sure if. Uh, um, Hakim Ziyech would be the right guy, but we can put Maduiki. Maduiki has shown some games that he's not tracking back. But if Potter should put his foot down and raise, you know, try and make this boy track back, and I, th I think things will work very, very well. If Maduiki is very good going up front, he's going forward, but defensively, he's not that good. So who will be there to? Uh, who will be there on the right hand side to protect him when he, he's not covering, uh, covering very well? That would be Wesley Fafana. But that will put pressure on the team in terms of playing the back three. Playing the back three, we're going to have a Zakaria in there. We're going to have a Fafana also in there. Then Madwiki. So Madwiki up front. Then we have a. Uh, we, we can have a Jacques Felix up front. And also we can have a. Mod, um, um, Halo Modric, Modric on the left hand side, then Ryan Sterling up front as a striker. Don't put Kai Havertz over there. Potter, if you're hearing me, listen to me what I'm saying. You might be the coach, but I watch. I watch the game from my couch or in my house, and I can tell what is going on wrong. Kai Havertz. Played number of games and is proving that guy cannot score. He's not a false nine. He's not a number nine guy. Play him in the midfield. If you can't play him there, let him sit down. Put Ryan Stell in there or Detro Fafana. Someone who is prolific in scoring goals. That's what I'll say. Prediction. Uh, score line. I'm going with the Chelsea 3, Leeds United 1. Chelsea 3, Leeds United 1. And this will turn the whole season around and, the, and it will bring so much happiness to Graham Potter. If Potter doesn't win this game, he needs to pack his back and leave. Because one, Potter is not helping the situation. Boley is not helping the situation because Boley gave the job to Potter. Potter did not request for it. He was comfortably sitting at Brighton when Bowley went there and said, hey man, do you, would you like to take over this job? He bought him out. It's a lot, he gave him a four years and, and, and a half contract on, on Potter. And there's a lot that Potter has to pay to Graham Potter if we want to send him. Uh, uh, Bowley has to pay to Graham Potter if we want to send him out. So this is my take on the preview on the Le uh, Chelsea and Leeds United game. Premier League game coming up uh, coming up soon. That's tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think of this preview. My, my formation, this formation that I have, uh, that I put together in terms of the back four, the pivot, the right back, uh, right wing back uh, uh, situation, the um, Chihuahua on the left hand side, Modric on the, 
up front left hand side then you have a uh, Modwicki on uh, right hand side then Sterling in the middle or if they're not gonna if they want to play Obama Young, Obama Young can be in that position. Let me know in the comment section below what you make and give me let me know your prediction uh score line uh predicted score line uh Chelsea Leeds United guys blues forever let's keep the blue flag flying high support the team don't support an in individual it's not good support the club let's support Potter let's support everyone although I am Potter out but let's still he's still the football club and we have to support him come on you blues my name is Nick Zion again subscribe if you haven't keep your bell notification icon active at all times so you don't miss anything from me boom